while you're still working, um, my take to you is also dare to be different. I dared to be different when I started working. And I won't say it's easy, it's just you need to find what your fit is. At the end of the day, you're still growing in skill, you're still learning, you're still experiencing things. So you need to find what your fit is, okay? And no one fit fits everyone, okay? Unless those people who love to comply, you will find you're extremely unique in being you. So I remember when I started working at Capital, um, I started on the late night show. So I learned a lot about love and how to give love advice was the most interesting thing. Um, then I was moved to 7 to 10 with Bob Kyoko where we were double heading. And then I was given the show by myself. So I loved the music at Capsule and the music was phenomenal. But it did not fit me. It did not suit my personality. It was not who I was. So what I did, I sat with my boss at the time, Mr. John Wilkins, who I love and admire dearly. Um, and I told him, dude, this is not working for me. I really love the music, but this is not me. Could I try a little hip hop and R&B? How would, how would that go? And he said, we don't do hip hop and R&B. <laughs> and I told him, okay, can we at least try? And he said, okay, fine. Um, I'll give, I think he gave me an hour. So between nine and 10, I was given um, a hip hop and R&B slot. And that grew to a 7 to 10. And I found out it had such a cult following. It was awesome. It was amazing. I enjoyed myself. I never felt I was working. But you see, I also had a supervisor who was supportive of my being different and my daring to be different. When I moved to Nation, um, I sat and the music still did nothing for me. So I tried a little reggae and a little um, dance hall. Then I thought, how about Kenyan music? And it became big. It is like the biggest thing now. I started, and this is where I got to meet the likes of Juakali was born there, Nonini was born there, Isa was born there, Prezo was born there, all because I dared to be different. That was it. I moved to Kiss 100 where you know the kind of music they have. It is tight and this is all you hear all day. They seem to make an exception because research showed in the afternoon a lot of people listened to reggae. Reggae was not my strong suit, I loved it. So I decided, you know what, immerse yourself in this. I was given only two hours and those were the best two hours of my life because I got into the culture, I got to understand what reggae was about, I got to understand the artists, I got to um, I was supported heavily and I give a very big up to DJ Karis who provided the music and also Black Supremacy who always gave me CDs to listen at home and um, you see I dared to be different so my hope for you is you've got supervisors who are flexible enough to allow you to dare to be different and I also hope that you if you're a supervisor you will allow those who are under you to experiment and, and, and try and, and, and be successful at something. I remember one um, quote by Mr. James Moria, who is the CEO and MD of Centum Investments. He said, if you must fail, okay, then you fail trying to succeed, all right? So I will leave you with that. Please subscribe. Don't walk alone. Let's do life together.